What is up, guys? Today we're going to be going through my tackle box. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start with this one. Well, first, got me this. Stuck my finger. Um, I've caught northern pike and a lot of walleye on here. I would rate this probably 8 out of 10. Very well recommended. This, I've caught a little bit of bass and one perch on it. So I would probably rate this 5 out of 10. Now next we got a big boy. We got this. I would rate this probably 3 out of 10. I caught one northern pike on it and that's all would not recommend that much next I'm not individually gonna do this one all of our favorites what we started out using bombers uh, I will rate these easily a six out of ten no doubt uh, but next we're gonna have this um, I'll definitely rate this Probably 9 out of 10. I've caught a lot of bass on it. You know, uh, probably a lot of perch. I've caught probably out, uh, probably top two best lures that I have. Ow, 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 ow. Stuck again. This, I'm going to definitely rate this 2 out of 10. Haven't caught much besides probably one bass on it. I would not recommend this at all. That goes through. Oh, I forgot stuff. And next, we'll have my very first spinner bait. I rate this 10 out of 10. I've caught a lot of fish on it bass, walleye, northern, um, crappie, perch, and some fish, and bluegill. Um, that the, I've only caught one bluegill on it. It was pretty good size though. So yeah. Next we're gonna have this um, easily six out of ten. Uh, I can't really do my upside down trick that I like to do to catch more fish, so I'd probably rate it. That's why I would rate that six out of ten. So yeah. That was this. Through this, I'm gonna do them. I have them all separate. So first, I'm gonna start with this. Uh, I'm gonna have to rate this right now, uh, unrated, because I haven't used it specifically yet. I just got it the other day and haven't used it yet. But yeah, I'll rate that in one of my other videos. Next, this 10 out of 10. Um. It is very good with my trick, with the, my upside down trick and everything. And I've caught a lot of fish on it. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Now next, we're going to have these 0 out of 10 easily. 0 out of 10. I have not caught anything on those. Uh, next, we're going to have these uh, 4 out of 10 if you're trying to go for a little perch. These 0 out of 10 haven't caught anything on them. Easily, 9 out of 10. I've caught a lot of bass, perch, and believe it or not, I've caught one per I mean, one pike on it. Very small pike, was not keepable. Next, we're going to go ahead and have these. 0 out of 10, probably negative 2 out of 10. They suck. This, probably 9 out of 10. And this, it's stuck. <laughs> 9 out of 10. That was this. Next, we're gonna go through this. Stuck together. Believe it or not, I have no chatter bait. I have a lot of spinner bait though, so. Uh, 
I hate to do it this way, but this one's going to have to be a 4 out of 10. Uh, I haven't caught a lot of fish on it. I haven't used it a lot, so 4 out of 10. Now, these two are going to get the exact same rating. Easily 6 out of 10. Hasn't done me that good at all throughout my years of fishing. So, yeah. Cinco's, well, Ozark Trails. Uh, as you're, it's like that. And I would probably rate this 10 out of 10s. Caught me a lot of bass, really good for bass. Especially big bass. That's that. Next, we're going to go with this. Uh, this, 10 out of 10. I've caught the most fish on this. It is broken down after I was up in Minnesota one day on vacation. I went to go through this and got destroyed by either walleye or pike. Just hammered it and easily broke my hook. You can see right there, it's only one now. But yeah, 10 out of 10 for what I've used it for. I'm replacing it with something like this. But next, we're going to... Oh, see, a little bit of seaweed from yesterday's fishing. Uh, next, we're going to have my Red Devil. 10 out of 10. Caught a lot of bass and all sorts of things. This... Um, easily. 10, I mean, 8 out of 10. It has done me pretty well throughout my years. Now, this, uh, this is my second one of these, and... I don't know why I gave my last one, but I'm probably going to rate this 5 out of 10. Hasn't done me that well throughout my years. Now we got my inline spinner. I got a white one too, but I'm just going to rate them both the same. 9 out of 10. Caught me a lot of fish. This 0 out of 10. Hasn't caught me much. It's the exact same tint and colors as my uh, Ozark trail but still hasn't caught me much uh next we're gonna have my frog 10 out of 10 has caught me a lot my hulu popper 11 out of 10 the best lure i've ever had next we're gonna have swivels you know what's up 10 out of 10 weights 10 out of 10 hooks 10 out of 10. Jig heads. 10 out of 10. That's this. Alright, so here comes the big one. Here comes my favorite lures. 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Now, you already know. 100 out of 10. Nine out of 10. This one, I don't know why it's in here. 4 out of 10. That's, uh... Has caught me a little bit, but I'm going to have to rate, rate this 3 out of 10. Ten out, nah, probably 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. My favorite, one of my favorite lures ever. Like all the swarm blue spots. 101 out of 10. That, that will be all that's in my tackle, but I'll go through my pole. Um, I have a Mark Zoo right here. It's a Mark Zoo. It's an MZ230. Very good. Uh, it's a brand new pole that I got the other day. Very good. And as you can see, it also has my other inline spinner on it, which I still rate 9 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, my pull is very good.